Howdy, y'all. Y'all ready to do some farming today, or at least watch some farming? Okay, as you can see, I have picked up all the straw on the field, or at least for the most part. You know, besides the fertilizer stuff that I'm just going to leave, you know. And then I went through and spread fertilizer on this field, so it's all fertilized. Now I'm just in the process of seeding it. If you watched my previous videos, then you know the tractor that we had had sufficient power, but for some reason, I, I don't know if it was the, you know, the modding or whatever, it just it slipped all over the place when you're trying to seed with it. So, I went ahead and maxed out my loan, if you can see here. Maxed it out and bought me this. Looked through my mods list, I found this, I said, well, that's got enough power. That'd be perfect for seeding. So... It's the 8360RT John Deere. This thing actually looks really good on the inside. Uh, it has the actually has a body sitting in the seat, which is not normal for most tractors. Uh, it actually has a body sitting in here. Uh, we do have it already set up on uh, on the GPS. We'll go ahead and just start running it. <clears throat> I have actually already did this video once today. This will be the second time I've recorded this. Uh, basically, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. And just so that I didn't, that you guys actually end up seeing it, I didn't end up skipping a whole bunch of stuff. I went ahead and went to the backup save games and basically just moved the files around and reloaded, you know, from where I was working on it yesterday. So. Hopefully you guys appreciated that I'm going to end up planting this field today twice and basically what the plan was, what the plan is for today is we're going to finish planting this field, which I'll, I'll probably cut out some of it or I'll speed some of it up or whatever, but going to plant a bunch of this field or plant the whole field and then move over to cutting some grass. So we're going to cut some grass probably on field 25 over there real big field we'll probably do a couple laps around it with the, the mower uh, to make sure we have enough to fill up the, the uh, pickup wagon and then we'll take that around and kind of give it to all the animals and stuff and then uh, depending on the time we're at then we might start like filling like putting the remainder of it into a silo uh, to kind of start our silage process off Kind of depends on our time scale or our time frame or whatever. Uh, hopefully we can get to that, but you never know. So yeah, I am like super excited today. Okay, uh, the the channel is growing. It's it's you know it's slow but it's steady. So you know, steady is good. Slow is you know, as long as it's growing some. Uh, I did get one more. I I got a subscriber today. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I have subscriber Danny boy so thank you Danny boy for subscribing to my channel I hope that means that you like my content and that you're gonna be watching my videos you know stuff like that so I appreciate that I appreciate all my subscribers I really do that you you know took the time to press the button because you like your content you wanted to watch more videos really appreciate it thank you all very much uh, hopefully we can get some more people to the channel you know, start building the channel and kind of creating a little community for ourselves or whatever. You know, get all the farmers together and whatnot. And, uh, you know, my views are starting to grow. You know, I'm not getting just like single digit views anymore. Uh, I'm getting 10, 15, uh, you know, getting, getting up there in the views. You know, it's not a lot. You know, it really isn't. But I'm happy. You know, I'm starting to get real happy about it because people are watching the videos. You know, some people are hitting the like button. Some, you know, a couple people have hit the subscribe button. Uh, I haven't got any comments yet, but if you guys feel inclined enough, you know, even if it just says, you know, good video or great job or, you know, something, even if you want to type the word good, you know, that's great. You know, it's really great. Uh, but if not, if you just want to watch the video, that's great, man. You don't have to do anything. That's cool. You know, I don't. I don't make the content so that I, I get a response. I like to see a response. You know, everybody likes to see, you know, something come out of their work. But, you know, we'll we'll just go from there. We'll see how it goes. But I do really appreciate Danny Boy. 
and all the rest of my subscribers for hitting that pretty red button down there but uh yeah overall the farm is starting to grow uh, we are working I mean we're just starting out but you know it's going real good so far people are watching the videos people are liking the videos so it's going good um, on a positive note for today when I was at work uh, we were working and I got super excited because we were just kind of standing around hanging out whatever and this John Deere combine huge John Deere combine starts coming down the field coming down the road and I was just I was like jumping up and down excited about this thing you know my partner that I worked with was just laughing at me and then it ended up turning before it ever got to me you know but that's okay I got to see it and then even more impressive the one right after that another one comes down the road same size big green John Deere combine the difference is that the second one had tracks on the front instead of with tires the tires are on the back had tracks on the front so I mean it was just it was amazing you know I just I I love stuff like that I love stuff like this you know the, the green and the yellow just it, it looks great to me you know my favorite kind of farm equipment and stuff the dairy farmer I used to work for had just tons and tons and tons of John Deere tractors and stuff and I think he's the one that really got me like addicted to it you know I don't have any John Deere stuff myself but I just I really love the colors and you know they weigh the build they weigh the build stuff and whatnot and so I'm, I'm really impressed with that um, I guess yesterday I didn't end up making a video yesterday so there wasn't a video that came out like scheduled today or not like that and that's because yesterday while I was at work my wife texted me and said hey there's this lady on Facebook giving away free firewood so I'm like okay you know and then I get home and start looking on Facebook it turns out it's not just free firewood okay it's actually a giant tree she had cut down in her backyard and she wants it gone so the lady was surprised that there wasn't more people coming over to get free firewood and I said well it probably has something to do with the like four foot wide tree you have laying in your backyard they don't want to you know most people aren't equipped to chop up a four foot wide tree you know, I didn't chop up the four, four foot part. I just went and cut up a bunch, a bunch of the small stuff or whatever. So that's what I did yesterday. Uh, I might go back this weekend and chop up some more. I don't know. I still have a giant tree in my front yard that I got to work on. It's three foot wide. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, that's what I did yesterday. Today I've seen the combines at work. Uh, yesterday at work, I was actually hanging out in the spot, and, uh, oh, I ended up, we were near this, uh, I think it was an asphalt or, uh, concrete mixing yard or something like that. Well, kind of in the back of the yard, they had a JCB, um, telehandler looking thing, working back there, like moving pallets and stuff like that. I got, I got kind of excited about that, you know, that I got to see a JCB in action. You know, and I'm talking JCB like, uh, let's see, here. Yep, I got to see, eh, it kind of looks like that. It looked more like this, but yeah, uh, a JCB telehandler, or whatever you call it, moving pallets and stuff like that, you know, just work, doing its work and stuff. So I was, I got pretty excited about that too, guys, I, I got to tell you. You know, just seeing some of that stuff, like whenever I see farm equipment or any kind of equipment that is on the game, you know, I, I do get excited and I like seeing that sort of stuff. I don't know if you guys do, but or if you actually see any of this stuff in real life, but I, I get excited about it. You know, I like seeing stuff like that. That's mainly, I mean, that's the reason we play this game, right? Just for the love of it. You know, I don't know. I got friends that play, you know, that game, do gaming stuff, but they don't play games like this because they don't like farming. You know, they play stuff like Daisy, and uh, I think that's what they've been playing. They play Ark with me for a bit, I think, and they tried out that uh, medieval game. I can't remember what it's called now, but Reign of Kings. Yeah, they played Reign of Kings with me, but they, they're just like, why would you play, you know, a farming game? You know, that's just, that's kind of dumb. And I said, no, <laughs> dude, the farming game is awesome. You know? I actually like the farming game more than I do, uh, like, uh, Daisy or whatever. 
you know, but I, I really love this stuff. You know, I, I get really excited about doing stuff like this, you know. But some people just don't understand, you know. Some people don't understand the passion. You know, they don't understand the love for the machine. You know, for doing the farming stuff. I think we're about ten and a half minutes. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is... I want to go back to this side of the field just because when I'm turning around at that end over there it's a lot easier if you do it from over here you'll actually you know you should be able to cover everything and not like miss stuff but I think I might cut out the rest of this just so we have more time to like cut grass and stuff you know just so you guys actually get to see more than just like seeding and whatnot you know because I do like I, I, like I always say you know variety Variety is, you know, one of my big things. Is there needs to be more than just like a couple of different things. You know, one thing in a video. I don't want to sit here and do, you know, seed this field for 30 minutes. You know, I want to do some other stuff too. So, uh, let's see. As far as the channel goes, I think we're just gonna stick with Court Farms for a bit. I've been thinking about doing a couple of videos on Bay House. Um, yeah, but honestly, there's not a lot of views on Dayhouse. You know, that farm's been out for a while. You know, it was a good start. Not very many people do video, have done videos on it. You know, it seems like a really good farm. So I don't know why people aren't, you know, but maybe, maybe they just think it's too small or something like that. It's not got enough, you know, enough content in it or something. Or maybe it's just been out long enough that people are just, you know, they've moved on to other stuff. But... You know, I've thought about doing a couple more videos on it, but it seems like I'm getting views on Court Farms, because that's what's hot right now. So I'm probably just going to stick with Court Farms. If you guys wanna, want me to see me do, you know, if you want me to do another farm, you know, if you got any suggestions, I know another new farm just came out. I don't, I haven't checked it out, I haven't looked into it. Uh, some of the pictures look like it's probably just a big flat farm, like some of the ones, you know, they're not like this. You know, this one's a flat farm. But honestly, you can't really, you know, you can't necessarily see from one side to the other. And there's like some slight hills and slopes and stuff here and there. You know, it's nice. You know, it's not just completely like a flat space. You know, it's not like a Minecraft thing or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really having fun with this YouTube thing. You know, making videos and getting people to watch my videos and stuff like that. You know, the channel is building. You know, it's, it's, it's growing a little bit at a time, you know, nothing real fast, but it's growing. So, I am happy about it, and I really appreciate all you guys that watch my videos, you know, and I really appreciate the guys that subscribe, and, you know, everything you guys do, I really appreciate it. You know, it's, it's, it's giving me more motivation to do more and more videos, and actually try to work on, you know, making it better, and doing a little bit better content, and whatnot. You know, so far I haven't gotten any, you know, negative comments or whatever saying, hey, you know, your video sucked. You know, I haven't even had anybody hit the dislike button. So obviously, you know, I'm not doing a terrible job, I guess. So I'll just, you know, I'm taking it as it, as it comes, you know. But uh, I really appreciate you guys. I keep saying that, but I really do. You know, you know the viewers are what make YouTube. You know, they really are. If a bunch of people just sat around and made videos and uploaded them and nobody ever watched them, you know, YouTube would be nothing. Nobody would even hear about it. So, really appreciate all you guys out there watching the videos. This tractor is actually working really well. Really like it. Not having any trouble with it. Got a good turning radius for this cedar. You know, it's got lots of power. You know, there's not a lot you can do with it since you can't hook anything on the front. But the amount of power it's got, the amount of traction it's going to have. You know, they did really did really good with this mod. I really like it. You know, it's a well-made mod. You know, hopefully some of you guys are you know finding some of these mods and are able to get some of these mods and stuff. Uh, I could try to put links. But I don't know where most of it came from. Like, 
Landy Kid server, like you get Landy Kid's mod list for his server. That's where a lot of my mods came from. I don't think that's where this one. Well, yeah, that is where this one came from because that's this is on his uh, multiplayer, his server right now. Uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna finish this up and then you know we'll be back to probably cut some grass, you know. And the last pass for this field, and we will be done. Just a second. And we can move on to something else. Just roll like raised up and folded up and then we can head out to the field. And we'll just drive back to the farm as fast as we can. Wow, this tractor is a lot faster than it looked. Did you see that? That was quick. I think what we're going to do is, if I can see, no collision, collision mod or whatever it gets done a little bit. I think we're going to pull this over here and wash the cedar real quick. Because it might be a little bit before, uh, before we end up getting it back out. So we'll make sure to wash it off real quick as fast as we can. <laughs> Okay, that ought to do it. Alright, we'll get this parked up and then we'll get the uh, big mower out and go mow. I think, uh, start mowing. Do a couple laps around 25 over there. There we go. Alright, we'll get this and uh, we'll run over to 25 really quick. Okay, there we go. Alright, now we're gonna probably do like a couple of passes around this. Uh, we're not gonna try to mow the whole thing. Uh, we'll probably just um, do a couple of passes just enough to get a little bit of a little bit of grass in the grain white in the pickup wagon, you know, so we can take it around and give it to the animals, get our productivity up a little bit, especially on the sheep. Sheep are only at five percent because they don't have anything. I can get them Pretty much all they take is grass, so uh, I'm not giving them any grass, so obviously they're at zero, or they're at five. What do they have if they're at five? Are they just naturally at five percent, or automatically? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Either way, we'll get some grass picked up and we'll give it to all the animals. I mean, we'll boost their productivity a little bit. You know, most of them, their productivity won't even... You know, it won't get up to 100% unless you have total mix ration, you know, so that'll, that'll be a little bit. I think what we're going to do is we're going to cut this grass, we're going to pick it up, and then I'll probably take it to all the animals off camera, you know, get the productivity up and stuff. And then the next video, what we'll probably do is, uh, we'll probably just do more mowing. We'll mow, we'll pick up. You know that sort of thing and we'll be putting it in the silos to make some silage to make total mixed ration to give the animal silage to probably sell some of it to boost our you know our account a little bit you know to get some new machinery and stuff around but you know i don't know how exactly to do the next video it kind of depends on what you guys want to see if anybody wants to comment let me know you know should i do like most pretty much all the mowing you know do a whole video where I'm just mowing or should I do like you know some mowing cut out some you know do pick up and then bring the pickup wagon in and start picking stuff up or should I just mow off camera you know do all the mowing off camera and then on camera half the video will be about picking up grass and then the other half will be doing something else. I don't know what else we would do, but I'm sure I could probably find something that, you know, if you guys want to see, like, you know, picking up grass and stuff, but I do know the silage is kind of a big deal. A lot of people seem to like doing the silage and stuff, you know, at least for the most part, most videos and most comments and stuff I see, you know, people start, like to start doing the silage because it brings in a lot of money, 
you know, I don't, I don't like to concentrate too much on silage just because, you know, it kind of boosts your account a little bit too much sometimes. You know, I understand it is realistic. You know, you can sell silage to places, I'm sure. But for the most part, we're running a farm. You know, we're not running a silage manufacturing business. You know, so we got to use the silage on the farm uh, primarily. But, you know, if the company that wants to buy silage wants to give us good money for it, I don't see any reason why we can't sell some of it. You know, but we do got to save some. You know, and I don't want to spend all my time, you know, doing silage. Uh, that just seems like it's, it's a lot of work for not a lot of stuff. You know. I think what we'll do is we'll just finish up this one pass. Uh, we'll do the one pass because I think the pickup wagon... I don't know. Uh, I can't remember how, how much it would fit in there. I think... I, don't, I guess we could do the one pass and then pick up... You know, if it picks up the whole pass, then great. If not, then we'll still have some in the pickup wagon. You know, in the cart. Because all we really need at the moment, at least for this video, to finish this video, is to cut some grass, pick it up in the wagon, and then take it over and by the end of the video at least give it to the beef cows. You know, feed the beef cows some grass, and then I'll just give it to the rest of the animals off camera. Yeah, I think that'll be... Alright, we got the pickup wagon on here now. We're going to uh, gonna head over to the field and just... Like I said, we're just going to probably do the one lap around or just run until it's full, you know, picking up grass, and then we'll come back and dump it, you know, dump some of it into the beef cows, uh, thing. You know, I don't think it'll take very much for them, but that'll probably be the end of the video there, just, you know. But, I, I am kind of wondering how you guys want me to do the next video, so if you feel up to it, just kind of leave me a comment or something, you know, let me know how you guys want to see it or you know how maybe how just how I should do it you know it's no big deal uh, if nobody leaves me a comment then I'll just I'll kind of figure it out and I'll do it however but it's it's definitely getting a lot more fun doing videos knowing that people are watching it knowing that people are enjoying it you know people are actually starting to like the videos and starting to watch the videos so this it is getting a lot more fun you know, like I've said though, if you guys want to see me play other games other than Farming Simulator, let me know. If I already have them, I can play them. If if I don't have them, then I can look into buying them, but like right now my finances are a little short, you know, as far as trying to put money into, you know, gaming and YouTube and that sort of thing. You know, I'm not the richest person ever. I do have a decent job, but at the same time, I bought a house this year and trying to remodel the house and trying to do other stuff, trying to do work on the vehicles, you know, trying to get my boat fixed, which, uh, that's exciting news too. Uh, the guy that works on my boat called me and said he's going to sell me a, uh, a Chevy 350 engine for my boat, uh, for a thousand dollars and then he'll put it, he'll swap them out for 500. So I think that's a pretty decent price, you know, a thousand bucks for a you know, Chevy 350. You know, my partner seemed to think so, and he's a big Chevy fan. You know, I know that's kind of a controversial issue, so I don't really want to get too much into that. You know, but uh, he's a Chevy fan, I'm a Ford fan, and we do really get along. You know, we, we neither one of us are the kind that are, like, real adamant, like, oh, well, you, you can only drive Ford, or you can only drive Chevy, you know. It's kind of the thing, that's what we like, you know, that's, that's just what we go with. We don't argue about it ever, you know. Um, another thing I'll bring up is uh, I've thought about I know I've talk, I know I talked about this in one video I can't remember but you know I've thought about doing videos to where I just kind of talk about things that frustrate me you know we'll call it the butcher block series you know I'll have butcher block videos and some of it might be politics you know for the United States so if you're from other countries then you know, it wouldn't really pertain to you, and you may not even care, you know, because it would just be, you know, United States stuff, uh, and then other, some of, some of the rest of it might just, you know, some of them might just be random things, 
you know, I don't know what people would think of that. You know, if you, you know, just basically talking about controversial issues, you know, talking about different things that kind of bug me, and, you know, different people, whatever. You know, I don't really know how it would go over. I don't know, you know, how people would react if, if they'd be willing to sit there, and if they'd want to sit there and watch a video where, the, you know, the narrator or whatever, commentator, you know, does nothing but gripe about something, or, you know, at least talks about it unfavorably. Hit the gate. Hit the eight. I should really open that second one. Yeah, you know, we wouldn't have this issue. Across. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how. You know how well that would go. I know some uh, like radio talk show hosts. You know there are some out there that all they do is just basically, you know, rant and rave about different stuff, and they're they do pretty well. But I don't know if people would watch it on YouTube, especially not like if I did a farming city simulator video. And it was just me, like, ranting and raving about different stuff. You know, like politics and, you know, the way things are going these days. Uh, some things are frustrating, but I, I don't think it would be that popular, you know, in my opinion. I do, I do kind of try to hold my back. I, I got to try to hold myself back sometimes. Because, you know, I come home from work and I'm really frustrated and I really want to talk about stuff. But I can't because, you know, people aren't going to want want to sit here and watch a video where the commentary is nothing about farming. You know, it's all about how, you know, these certain politicians are crap and whatnot. But, uh, I don't know. It's just an idea. I'm trying to think of things to add to the channel. So, if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see, games, commentary, you know, whatever. If you have any ideas, just shoot them to me and I'll consider them. And if they're really good, you know, they'll end up getting on the end of the channel. But yeah. And then another thing is, is if you guys know where to pick up the eggs, I still have not figured that out. You know, I've looked around a little bit, not a lot. So I guess if I looked around enough, I might be able to find them. But you guys, if somebody wants to shoot me a message or something and say, hey, this is where the eggs are. You know, they're all here at this one point. Then uh, that'd be great. But if not, okay. Uh, but yeah. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, whatever you want to do, this is the Butcher Man saying have a nice day.